Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to be talking a little bit about Ubuntu 21.04. Now, the reason why this video is being made is because today was the feature freeze for Ubuntu 21.04, which means that there's going to be no new features put into this release. They're just going to be focusing now on getting it to be stable and working out the kinks and all that stuff. Now, we don't know for sure the exact feature set of 21.04. It hasn't been announced. We won't know until it actually comes out. Now, we do know several things that are going to be in there. We know a few things that aren't going to be in there, and we have some conjecture over some things that Ubuntu might do, but maybe not. So that's what today's video is going to be about. But first, I just want to apologize for crazy video. I got a new camera, and it's a little wonky on the colors. Uh, and it's been flashing for some reason. I'm not sure why. I'll figure it out. For whatever reason, it just does not want to stay a single color, so I just apologize. I'll also say this. I've moved my old camera over to my first monitor. Oh, looks, there's the video. There's the crazy lighting again. It has something to do with the focus. Anyways, I'm so used to looking this direction, you know, because this is where the only camera I used to have. I probably, you'll probably see me talking over here, but the camera will be looking like this. It's going to be really weird. Um... It'll take some getting used to, so I just thought I'd throw that out there before we jumped in. So let's go ahead and jump into the topic for today. So the first thing is they might be using the dark theme by default. Now, whether or not this is going to actually make it through or not, it was just it was just one of those proposals that we that OMG Ubuntu kind of picked up on. For me, I think that's cool because the dark theme is actually you know much better than the light theme almost universally, I think, but um, we'll see if that makes it through. Now, there are a few other things that are mostly under the hood that we know we're probably going to get. We're probably going to get Python 3.9, kernel 5.11, although I have a feeling we'll prob it'll probably be stuck on 5.10. Uh, this article here says we're for sure going to get 5.11. I'm not sure that that's true. There'll be a, the usual app updates and stuff and the new wallpapers and the interesting one here in this list here is um, GNOME Shell Enhancements. Now, the one thing we know for sure we're not going to get is GNOME 40. And they've already said, come out and said that we're not going to get it. And it probably won't appear in Ubuntu until the fall. And that's perfectly fine. And we know why. And I'll, in the cards above, you'll see a video I made on why not using GNOME 40 is the right choice. But... It'll be interesting to see because I feel that the amount of effort they put into GNOME Shell this time will kind of uh, prophesize, the, it'll kind of give us an idea of where they're going to go with GNOME 40. Because if they put a lot of effort into making the current GNOME Shell a lot better, like really fast and maybe even a couple new features or whatever, they may that may say that they're not going to be making as nearly as many changes or inheriting as many changes from GNOME 40 as maybe we'd want them to. Uh, because really the big question is, how is Ubuntu going to uh, adopt those features of GNOME 40? Or are they going to adopt them at all? Because, I mean, there's some big UI changes in GNOME 40, and, well, those design changes are almost completely different than what Ubuntu has looked like since like 2007 or something. I mean, Ubuntu has looked pretty much the same for the last, I don't know, 13 or 14 years. Uh, that's why I personally, I think that they should adopt as much of GNOME 40 as possible because GNOME 40, at least, while I may not agree with some of their design choices, at least looks fresh. Now, there's a, a whole slew of hardware support fixes and features and stuff that we'll see in 21.04. These things are perfectly normal. Every release sees these, you know, hardware uh, fixes and support changes and stuff. So we'll see USB 4 and Thunderbolt support, uh, some new things for Lenovo's and different Intel CPUs and stuff. A lot of this stuff is either going to be coming through because of the kernel changes or stuff that Ubuntu has been able to work out through vendor partnerships and stuff. Uh, so, really, the biggest thing we're going to see on 21.04 is Wayland support. So, 
we've already I've already made a video about this. I've already talked about it. I'm not sure for whether or not I've talked about it in this video because I've now tried to make this video like four or five times because of the video problems. Uh, but Wayland support basically is going to be set as a default for every user who's not using an NVIDIA card. So if you have if the installation media detects that you're using an NVIDIA driver or you have an NVIDIA NVIDIA card dropped it you know into your computer, you'll be using X.org. Anybody, everybody else will be using Wayland. We believe that that's the way it's going to work at least. Uh, so that's very interesting because for the they've been trying to get Wayland up off the ground for a long time, and it looks like finally we're at a point where it can actually be not only be completely usable, but also start being supported by the bigger distros. So we've seen Fedora obviously use it because they're behind the Wayland project. Now we're seeing Ubuntu use it by default. Eventually we'll probably see Arch use it. Arch is a little bit different because they don't actually associate themselves with any desktop environment. So really once we get Ubuntu in line, it, we're going to start seeing the desktop environments start to slowly make it the default focus. So like Mate and Plasma and obviously Gnome's already there and probably Elementary's uh, Pantheon will be there pretty soon. Uh, so, really, once we get past this Ubuntu thing, it's really going to be on the uh, the desktop environment teams to go through and start supporting the stuff. So, that's the big one, and probably the one that we'll notice the most, because they've tried to go Wayland full-time before. That um, did not work, and they end up having to switch back to x.org. Maybe Wayland is, is good enough now, and we'll see Wayland support be default by you know, for the rest of time, uh, but we'll see. So the last thing I want to talk about is this private home thing. So for the last, ever since, well, I guess ever since Ubuntu, you know, was released for the first time, the home directory has actually not been private. So the permissions on the home directory would actually allow anyone who had a, an account on the system to view other people's home directory if they had I believe if they had root access and that's a huge deal because I mean, especially if you're in a corporate environment where computers may have multiple uh, accounts on them being able to view other people's files and stuff without much effort is a big deal and that's going to change in 21 out of 4 from now on the home directory will be completely private as it should be so really that is Ubuntu 21.04. Now, get them. I haven't tried it yet, and really, we don't know. Like, we don't don't know a whole list of all the official features. We won't know that until we get to the change logs. My guess is that this is going to be a very very minor update, even with that Wayland support. They focus so much on Wayland, the rest of the features have kind of fallen by the wayside. We'll see most of the new features in this generation come from the desktop environments, specifically Plasma and probably Mate and Cinnamon and all those, those desktop environments will actually go through and be the catalyst to change and new features and stuff, whereas Ubuntu's kind of gone through and just worked on getting the kinks out and becoming the most uh, stable it can be. Screw you, camera. Stop changing light. I, maybe I need a bigger light in here. I don't know. That's really weird because it's... it's not when I move. Uh, I mean, I guess it's a little when I move. It's just really weird. I mean, it's a cheap camera. I mean, it's not like I spent like a thousand dollars on a camera, so it's like a fifty buck camera. But still, I shouldn't be doing that nonsense. That's crazy. Anyways, uh, thanks for watching. I have a couple new screens to show you. So first, make sure you follow us on Twitter, Facebook, and Patreon. Yeah, uh, you can support us by subscribing. Obviously, follow us on Twitter at twitter.com slash linuxcast facebook.com slash linuxcast sensing a pattern here you can also support us on patreon at patreon.com slash linuxcast and that being said i'd like to thank our patrons devon c and marcus b for being our first supporters uh thanks guys and uh thanks everyone for watching i'll see you next time